Uh, let me also turn the podium first to Rick and Patel, the head of Avaz.org. Um, in a way, uh, our two organizations, I think, encompass uh, the constituencies between which leading politicians are increasingly having to mediate uh, today. Uh, those constituencies of the policy specialists and issue specialists uh, and those of the broader democratic community that are increasingly involved uh, in trying to get their voice heard in uh, international affairs. So we're delighted uh, to have you with us as well, Rick, and uh, the podium is yours. Uh, thanks, Robin. Uh, uh, yeah, Vaz.org members are extremely excited about this, about this opportunity. Uh, traditionally, foreign policy has been principally the domain of interests and experts and nations, and I think increasingly it's becoming a domain of values and, and democracy and humanity. Um, Avaz means voice in many languages. Uh, we were just, our, our, our mission is a simple democratic one, uh, which is to organize citizens around the world to close the gap between the world that we have and the world that we want. Um, revolutions in technology are allowing citizens to connect across borders like never before and engage in public life. And in just six months, Avaz has grown to uh, over 1.2 million members uh, who join us in this room today via webcast. Uh, we asked those members if they had any questions for, for David Miliband, and we've had thousands submitted over the last few days, and they, they continue to, to stream in. Uh, we found that there was a great deal of agreement among those voices on issues ranging from climate change to human rights to global poverty to the crisis in the Middle East. Um, and we hope and trust that David Miliband's new diplomacy is a sign not just of how he intends to listen, but how he intends to lead. And if it is, then we're confident that the weight and legitimacy of global public opinion will stand solidly behind him. There's been a lot of hope surrounding the new British Prime Minister and Cabinet on all these fronts. As one of the youngest cabinet members in history, the first government minister to keep a blog, and someone who even purportedly has an avatar on Second Life, uh, those of us engaged in people-powered politics have much hope that David Miliband in particular will bring the kind of democratic leadership that the world needs, wants, and demands. Please join me in welcoming Secretary Miliband. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that uh, kind uh, introduction, uh, Robin and uh, Rickon. Uh, I'm always worried when I get introductions that build up this uh, youth and breadth and even creativity, you were kind enough uh, to say, uh, because the first ever visit I did as a government minister was in 2002, when uh, two days after I became schools minister, minister for schools, I was back in my constituency uh, for a uh, meeting, uh, an assembly, uh, where I was giving out some prizes, St. Mary's School in South Shields. And the uh, headmistress obviously felt a similar degree of excitement. Perhaps she met me at the gate. She said, we're all so pleased that you're here. Please come into the assembly hall. And there were 150 kids. They were sitting on the floor. They didn't have the chairs that you uh, are given here. And they were sitting very attentively. And she gave the sort of introduction that you've just given. And she said, can anyone tell us who our distinguished visitor is? <laughs> and there was this sort of silence uh, <laughs> across the room. And she said, now, children, we did practice this yesterday. <laughs> Can anyone tell us who our very distinguished visitor is, a man of creativity and insight who's going to make a big difference uh, to our school? By the, I'd, t I'd arrived, sort of first visit as a government minister, feeling quite sort of... Uh, Pleased with myself, I suppose. By this stage, I was sort of getting smaller. The poor headmistress was sweating away. And in a rather sort of pleading tone, she finally said, now, children, someone must be able to tell us who our very distinguished and important visitor is, someone who's going to make a big difference to our school, someone who, well, it's going to be a really practical supporter of the work we do. And finally, this little boy um, put up his hand. He must have been sitting sort of just a few rows back. And he said, and she said, yes. Miss, is it the man who's come to fix the electricity? <laughs> and, uh, from that moment onwards, I've known exactly how to uh, take with some, uh, to take with a pinch of salt the uh, introduction. Nonetheless, I'm very grateful. For